Atlas welcoming you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Our main event should be a good one tonight. Ten rounds of middleweight action. And the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. Monzon's making his way to the ring now, and you can see how focused he is on the task at hand. Jake LaMotta's ring walks have been known as circus spectacular, but yet, with all that, to him, it's a moment of extreme attention. In the lower corner, an impressive record of 87 wins, 59 knockouts, and only three losses. Coming out of Santa Fe, Carlos Monzoon! His adversary, with a record of 83 tries, 30 by way of knockout, and 19 Fighting out of the Bronx, the Bronx Bull, Jake Lamar. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch him up. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. That was nice. He just threw the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Carlos Monzon. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Monzon's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Teddy, I don't think there's any doubt about it in the matchup that we're seeing here tonight. It's clear who has the superior hand speed. What does the other guy need to do? He needs to let the faster guy shadow box. Step out of range where he can't use his speed. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Very accurate two-punch combo by Carlos Monzon. Monzone's on the wrong end of a destructive uppercut. Good job on the two-punch combo by Carlos Monzone. Lamada's got a little something coming back at him. A counterpunch scored. A crafty counterpunch after a fine defensive effort by Carlos Monzon. They're not exactly getting to know each other. They're just beating the hell out of each other early on here. Yeah, Joe, this keeps up. They're both going to have headaches, and we're going to have one of the great fights to talk about. Let's go just 10 seconds to go in this round. Carlos Monzon's corner's got to be happy about that last round. Just like that, all right? You're doing good. Keep it up. Here we go. Round two is underway. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Carlos Monzon. Scoring with the right hand by Jake Wamada. And now he's targeting upstairs. He digs in with an uppercut after blocking that shot away. 
Monzon's so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Carlos Monzon. Halfway through round number two. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Get after him! Basic but beautiful, jab right hand. Jake Lamada's hurt by a superb hook to the head. Lamada lands a big right hand. Both these guys obviously hopeful that their cut men will be up to the task tonight. What does it take to be a great cut man? Hey, you know, that's a great question. First of all, you better have the right coagulants, the right chemicals, the right medication in that corner. Avertine, adrenaline, and you have to have Vaseline where you can put it on it. But the most important thing, you have to be calm. You can't panic. And you have to put pressure on that cut, just the right amount of pressure. And then you put those medicines in it. And then you better have a fighter that can give you a round or two. He can move around and not get caught right away. Give the medicine a chance to work. Lamada's well, undoubtedly going to need his corner to get to work after that swelling started in the last round. And round number three is underway. Carlos Monzon's got speed and plenty of it. Teddy, still, I'd like to see him just bite down and fight a little more. Yeah, you'd like to see him sit down a little bit, bend his legs a little bit, and make those punches a little more effective. Not just great where they look good. Committing upstairs now, he goes there again. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Carlos Monzon's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. A stinging uppercut by Carlos Monzon. Fires right back at him. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Carlos Monzon. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round, Jake Lamada's clamped down by a left hand. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for that one good shot. Well, you know, the landscape of this business, the history of this business is littered with guys that they've had someone hurt, they get a little careless, they get caught. He better watch out that he doesn't get put on that landscape. Big shot, that left hand from Jake Lamada. Monzo's tagged by that powerful hook. He just looks exhausted to me right now. Lamada's accuracy is non-existent. This guy cannot punch a solid target right now. No, but what this shows, he's missing so many shots. We always think about the damage done when they land. This is showing you the damage that's done when they miss. You get discouraged. You start giving in. And that's the end of round three. You're in control of this fight. Don't get careless out there. Keep boxing smart. Nice movement. Keep that up. Keep moving. How you doing? You keep your hands up. Don't worry. Round number four underway. Carlos Monzon's just dominating in the punch stat categories. When you look at total punches thrown, he's got a big edge early on. Yeah, not a lot of damage going on, but as you just said, one guy working, the other guy's not. Great job of protecting himself. He's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure, anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. <laughs> Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Monzone's right in the way of that hook to the head. Oh, that had a hurt. Well-targeted combination by Carlos Monzone. Body shot, left hand. Halfway through this round here. 
Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wish, the old great Willie Peck. Made him miss, made him pay. Nice strike after catching one by Carlos Monzon. Well off the mark by Jake Lamada. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Carlos Monzon. Lamada's doing a poor job. There's no other way to really say it. I mean, he's sitting there trying to stay committed to being a counterpuncher. But in the meantime, the fight is getting away from him in a big way. Yeah, he needs a plan B right now. You know, he came in with plan A, Joe, but plan B is what he needs. He has to find another way to create offense. He's not going to be able to do it countering on the back end. You got to him this round, all right? You got to... They start up again, back to action here with another round. But who knows how much longer it'll last. This has been a completely one-sided fight. And now they're trading blows. He's committing to the work downstairs. He puts forth a right hand. Well-placed counter punch by Carlos Monzon. Lamada's taking more and more punishment as this round continues. This fight could be over soon. And you just know the referee's taking a real close look at it right now. If it doesn't turn around this round, I think this will be the last. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Double up your function. Carlos Monzon's well off the mark that time. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Lands flush with the two-punch combo by Carlos Monzon. Monzon's giving us a taste of some of that athletic ability, that hand speed right there. Good combination. And his opponent, though, now is going to have to show us that he could do something to sort of, you know, adjust to this to counter this, and that's going to be controlling range and timing because he can't match up with the physical hand speed. Not able to land the headshot. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. Hold your head. Hey, you gotta see that coming. Let's go. And that's the end of round five. 60 seconds. That's all they get. Just 60 seconds to deal with the fact that their fighter has an eye that's completely shut. That's all they need. I mean, that's their job. Now they gotta show that they can perform under those conditions. Little volume punching to the body there. And he's holding. Blocks that belt line well. Lamada's not jabbing that much right now. That's got to help out his opponent. Yeah, you know, that's like giving him a free one. Because now his opponent doesn't have to worry as much when he walks in. No jab to keep him out. He's going to see the other punches coming so much easier when there's not a jab covering him. Carlos Monzon's doing really well on the outside. Oh, and he stays downstairs. Good shot to the head with that right hand. There's the combo to the body. Oh, that's good stuff. Fires right back with one of his own. Good work by Carlos Monzon. Lamada's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Oh, he just ate a big uppercut right there. And bang, and away he goes. Down he goes! He went down! One, two, three, four!
Okada's gonna keep taking this test, rising up after being knocked down. Oh, they both land flush with uppercuts. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. Well, something's gotta stick. He sends the combination to the body. That's a good block by Jake LaMotta. He just missed that shot up top. That is a big right hand. We knew the cut was bad. Now it ends the night. A TKO victory. The cut was just too much to go on with.